Other news, a Western Slope family has been devastated with medical bills this year for their premature baby and the mother battling cancer. New at 6 o'clock, our Mark Bott has their story. When it rains, it pours, and one Western Slope family is getting soaked right now. So in March, I had a baby at 28 weeks old, just randomly went into labor, and he ended up getting hydrocephalus, and we were flight for life immediately to Children's Hospital, where I spent 12 weeks. That was just the beginning for Eliza Wachholz and her family. We came home and we were home for 10 days when we had a catastrophic incident and he was white for life back to the NICU and we spent another five days there. Eliza is also a mom to a five-year-old, so having a new baby with health problems was already hard, but life wasn't done with her yet. Just about a month ago, my world kind of spiraled out of control when I went to the doctor for a routine checkup and unfortunately I was diagnosed with cancer at 25. Now Eliza is adapting to challenges most wouldn't wish on their worst enemy. It was a little traumatizing and I have two young kids at home and learning how to go through cancer treatments and be a mom at the same time is not an easy thing to do. Fortunately, Eliza isn't alone. My friends and family have really stepped up to the plate for me for the last year, but really right now they're my backbone. One of Eliza's close friends, Jackie Young, set up a fundraising dinner over the weekend to allow more of the community to support Eliza and her young family. The community didn't let her down. That dinner turned into dancing, a silent auction, and more. And by the end of the night, they exceeded their goal of raising $15,000 to help Eliza and her infant son Briggs with medical costs. As family friend Jackie said in her statement after the event, the community showed that the Wachholz family are not alone in their battle. First on the Western Slope, Mark Bott, KREX 5 News.